Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola G50, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now you can obviously see the phone I have right here is locked, and I can lock it either using the pattern or Google account. Now, assuming we don't know either of those, uh, we can just simply bypass this. And the bypass right here is actually fairly simple. So jumping straight to it, we're gonna back out to the Wi-Fi connection and I'll be connected to Wi-Fi, uh, just putting that out there, but I don't think it's a necessity, though just for the same, uh, just for the same results or same kind of process, you might wanna do that anyway. You can see I am connected right here. So anyway, once you're connected, uh, you wanna select right here, see all Wi-Fi networks, and then scroll down where you will find add a new network. This will bring up this window right here, along with a keyboard. And on the keyboard, you have this microphone icon, so you wanna tap on it, and then counter intuitively, select deny. Access to microphone, do that again. And once more, as you can see now, the icon changed, so it's just an outline now, instead of being like fully filled. And when you press it, it gives you this pop-up right here. So select allow. And from here, you're gonna select permissions, then tap on the search bar right on the top and search for settings, I believe. Scroll all the way down where you'll find settings application. So you have two of them. Let's see if it's the second one. Yep, it's the second one with this kind of icon. Uh, one will have the open button, but the other one you'll see does not so if you open up the wrong one uh, you cannot open it so select the second settings option and select open and here you want to select apps and notifications then all app info and then tap on three dots to show system apps and scroll down to google we go google uh, you're precisely looking for Google Play services, which is right over here. I'm gonna tap on it, and from here we're gonna select, let's see, disable and force stop, I believe, but I'm gonna quickly make sure. So we're most certainly disabling it. And actually it looks like that's the only thing that we need to do. So once you have disabled it, hold power key and select restart 